My name is Anthony Allen, welcome here to my YouTube channel and in this video we're talking about a free plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 aka FCPX and the plugin that we're talking about is called Clean Transition and it is available at Leno FX. Yo, let's join forces, hit the subscribe button. So here we are inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Of course, the plugin that we're going to be having a look at today is the Leno FX Clean Transition, which you can find for free on their website. If you would like to find this plugin for yourself and use these transitions today with Final Cut Pro 10, then look for the link in the description where I've linked directly to this plugin so you can download it and get started with it right now. So, of course, I'm going to showcase these plugins and show you how some of them work or how they look. So here we are, and this is my timeline. I have two pieces of stock footage in my timeline. We'll be using these. And to the right here, you can see that I've selected Leno, F Leno FX Clean Transitions, which is the plugin that we're talking about. The plugin provides various transitions. Uh, let's count them, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten transitions. And of course, you can preview these transitions by scrolling your thing, your your mouse, not your finger, over the transition. So there's a there's a preview there. We're actually going to use this one for now. Let's drop that onto the piece of footage. It's going to create a ripple effect, a ripple transition, meaning that it's actually going to trim down a part of the original footage in order to fit the transition in, and cross it cross cross it over basically. And let's press play. Looking brilliant, looking good. I like the look of that transition. So before we actually go into the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the pieces of stock footage uh, so we can continue to show off some of these transitions and basically show you what you're getting for free. Absolutely free. It's brilliant. So there we go. We've just duplicated <laughs> that transition a few times. So we're going to showcase more of the transitions that you get with this uh, package, this Leonard FX Clean Transitions package. So we have a, uh, I'm going to see what this is. Actually, I'm not going to have a look at it first. I'm going to actually drop it in. Let's have a look at that one. You can actually change the fade in and fade out curve. Let's press play and have a look and see what it looks like. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That was nice, man. All right, let's, let's give it another one. Let's give it another one. Yes, full effect. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Let's have a look at this one. Boy, and sure, you can change the colors of that transition as well. So it's not rendered, by the way. So that was the non-rendered version of that transition. You can change these colors to whatever you'd like. Uh, you can also do a color select. You can use a color selection tool to select a color that's actually in your next shot. Um, that was a quick selection, actually. I was worried. Uh, let's press play, see what that looks like. Looking good. Looking absolutely amazing. Let's go for the skin tone as well. Uh, I like to, you know, play around with transitions a little bit. Um, instead of the white, let's go for the uh, white of the lady's hand. So she, she's very tanned by the look of it. <laughs> so let's press play. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought I'd have a little play around there. There's loads of different ways you can use these transitions as well. If you use your imagination and you use the creativity inside of you, you can do a lot more with these transitions. Like I've just shown you very quickly how to select a colour within the scene and then change the look of a transition within a couple of seconds. Um, what else have we got here? We have... Uh, these are actually numbered instead of given names. I don't know why they're actually numbered. Maybe it's just the, uh, the the preference of the creator. The preference of the creator. <laughs> Let's press play here. Woof, woof. There was a lot going on there. So I'm going to render that first before we have another look at that. Uh, just, just, just render that selection because it did buffer quite a bit. That was a very quick clock transition right there. Um, it, is, it is rendering, I promise you. You can see it in the top left-hand corner of the screen. I'm going to get rid of my colour selection here. And also going to get rid of my browser because we just, we just, we don't need it. And it's rendered, so let's have a look. I like the look of that. So, there we have it. I just thought I'd just showcase some of the transitions here within Final Cut uh, before you actually go to the website and download it. Again, this is plugin is available via the link in the description so if you can't find it yourself um, 
for whatever reason i've linked it down in the description down below i have more free plugins that i'll be talking about on my channel as well so definitely a reason to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because i've got a lot more free plugins that i will be looking at here on my channel and showing you some of the free plugins that i use um with paid work and for other creative pieces of work and media as well um hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one because we've got more on the way